I am R. Bhavani Shankar. My name is Manikita Sai Deepu. Myself, Rohit. Today we are here to explain our project titled Smart Irrigation System using IoT. Our team code is PKM SACET 13. Normally, farmers use the traditional techniques for watering the farm, but they don't have any idea to supply how much water is required to the farm for getting the yield. Due to this, farmers are not getting the proper yield. To solve this problem, we had developed a solution smart irrigation system using IoT technology. The C idea of this project is to analyze weather conditions and on the basis of weather conditions and moisture level of the soil, it automatically decides how much of water is required for the farm and supplies the much of water to get the better results. The goal of our project is to achieve enough supply of water without the involvement of the farmer by using an automated system. The goal is achieved by our project named as Smart Irrigation System using IoT. Let us discuss about software and hardware used in our project. Coming to the hardware components, we use DHT11 sensor. DHT stands for Digital Humidity and Temperature. The main use of DHT sensor is to sense humidity and temperature in the air. The next hardware component is LDF. LDF stands for Light Dependent Register. The main use of light dependent register is to sense intensity of light. Next hardware component used in our project is soil moisture sensor. The main use of soil moisture sensor is to sense the moisture present in soil and regard to that it gives values to us. And next hardware component used in our project is pH meter. pH stands for potential hydrogen meter. The main use of pH meter in our project is to justify whether the soil is in acidic or basic form. The next hardware component used in our project is rain intensity sensor. The main use of rain intensity sensor is to sense the intensity of rain. And coming to the next component we use it in our project is submersible pump. The main use of submersible pump is to supply adequate water to plants and coming to the next hardware component used in our project is MyRio. MyRio is the master controller in our project. Coming to the softwares we are used in our project are LabVIEW of 2017 version which is developed by National Instruments. The main use of LabVIEW is used to design simulations and to calibrate with sensors by assigning a port to the VM. And the next software used in our project is NIMAX, which is also developed by National Instruments. The main use of NIMAX is to communicate with MyRio and get sensor values to the VI file, which is created in past. Now, I have integrated all the sensors used in the project. Take a look on the screen. You can see the front panel of our project which is consisting of a stop button, pH indicator, rain intensity, light intensity, thermometer which represents the temperature value and moisture level and humidity level. Let us take a look on hardware integration and connections. As coming to the first sensor, it is pH sensor. Here I have connected pH sensor and put on water for demonstration. Here the solution I have used is potassium hydrogen phthalate. It is in 250 ml water I have poured this solution. It needs to show the value around 4 and the actual value that we are receiving is around 4.6 to 4.8. This is because of we have used normal water instead of 
distilled water. Now let us put a look on soil moisture some sensor. Here the soil moisture sensor is going to detect the moisture level in the sensor. Coming to the soil moisture level. Here is the soil moisture level. It is 3.8 and so on. The actual limit of the soil moisture sensor is 1 to 3.5 which is the value is out of range. So the submersible pump gets on. If the value is in range then the submersible pump will get off. Now coming to the next sensor, rain intensity sensor which is going to detect the intensity of the rain occurrence. If we sprinkle some more of water on the sensor, let us check it through the demo. Here is the rain intensity value. It is around 0 0.09. Thus, the chance of occurrence of this rain is low. Now, coming to the remaining sensors, which are on the breadboard, are DHT11 and LDR. DHT11 stands for Digital Humidity and Temperature. Whereas LDR stands for Light Dependent Resistor. Here are the LDR and the DHT11. And the values we can see on the screen. LDR, the light intensity is around 0 0.09. If we put a flash on it, if we put on the flash, the value will be changed from 0 0.09 to 0 0.45. As the light fallen on the LDR, it changes and it shows a rise in the value. And if it check the temperature value, it is around 27 degrees as Google determines by analyzing different temperature values from a location and it shows the average value. But the temperature sensor is DHT11. It detects the current room temperature. It is around 26.6. It is actually in range. It is nearly equivalent to 27. Thus the temperature sensor is also working current, correctly. Now coming to the heart of our project, Myrio. It is the master controller. It is developed by National Instrumentation. It will be able to integrate with all the sensors used in our project. And it will show the values of all the sensors in our V8 that we have developed. Thus, the project hardware implementation gets completed. This is the front panel that we had designed. And coming to the block diagram, it is the block diagram that we had developed in our project. Here you can see for each sensor we have assigned a port. Here you can check the port connections with MyRio. We finally conclude our project. The objective of this project is to avoid wastage of water. The smart equation system is feasible and cost effective for optimizing water resources for agriculture. It proves that the use of water can be diminished. All the sensors, sensors the entities based upon the weather conditions, sensor generate values and supply required water to the crop. The use of solar power in this system is used to achieve power saving and it helps eco-friendly and it does not affect the environment. Thanks for giving this golden opportunity. opportunity.